Hello everyone, I'm Aaron, a birdie naturalist. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to tell you about something that's pretty exciting in the conservation world. Uh, a success, you don't hear about successes and feel good stories all that often, so I want to highlight this one. And it is about Western monarch butterflies. Western monarch butterflies are this beautiful species of butterfly native to much of the Western US from pretty much the Canada border out into parts of Idaho, Nevada, parts of Arizona, all across Oregon, all across California, even parts of Northern Mexico, Baja, California, that kind of area. And they're migratory, which is kind of interesting. They spend a lot of their time breeding sort of more inlandy and northerny. And then they migrate south to basically coastal California, in all honesty. There are a few spots elsewhere, some inland in southern Arizona, a little bit northern Mexico, southern California. But the vast majority end up in spots right on the coast of California in the wintertime. And they often congregate in these huge masses, which is very impressive to see, where hundreds, thousands, on occasion even tens of thousands of monarch butterflies will pile together for warmth on tree branches. They just pile in and pile in and pile in and kind of flutter their wings a little bit to stay warm overnight. And they do that every night for, for the winter. And that means that that sort of congregation of the population gives researchers the opportunity to count the population of Western monarch butterflies each year. And they have been doing this for decades. Many of these spots are very well established where the butterflies will come back every year to the same group of trees. Um, so scientists know where the monarch butterflies will be so they know where to be to count them and so year after year these counts have been going forward largely run by this organization called the Xerces Society it's a fantastic organization I'll leave a link in the description below and and yeah it's it's been kind of a rough story for a while um, Populations of Western monarch butterflies have been declining. The last few years, it's gotten very concerning. They've been declining so far that, that people have started wondering, are they going to make it at all? And this is a population that decades ago, historically, probably numbered in the 500,000 and up range. So there were a lot of butterflies. And that really, really dropped to the point where the last few years uh, in the sort of 2017, 2018, 2019 kind of ranges of years, there were only about 2,000 butterflies counted in these winter counts. Now the big winter counts happen around Thanksgiving and it takes a little while for those numbers to kind of get flushed out and then released. And so there's a bit of delay, but the 2021 Thanksgiving count numbers came out recently and it's quite a spectacular count. Like I said, a few years ago, they were down in the 2000 range, right? It's kind of scary low. 2021, almost 250,000 butterflies were counted in Central California. 
That's a huge increase. That's amazing. That's a solid indication that all of the restoration work, all of the milkweed that has been planted, all the habitat that's been created for monarch butterflies over the years, maybe, you know, it's taken a little while, but maybe it's gained steam and actually being able to sort of turn the tide a little bit. Now, it definitely remains to be seen whether or not this is a sort of the bottom of, of the arc and it's start the, start of the upswing and this population curve is going to keep on going up and up and up, or if this is just sort of some temporary hiccup in the numbers and they crash back down next year. We don't know. We will have to wait for the 2022 Thanksgiving monarch butterfly count in the Western States, in Western California. Um, but it's a definitely an encouraging sign and it's definitely a moment to seize. Now that there are all these butterflies, right? There are 250,000 butterflies flooding around. That's a lot of butterflies that potentially could be looking for places to live, for places to mate, for places to lay eggs, so that the next generation of butterflies is even bigger. And so now is a great time to try to do even a bit more work, to push those habitat restoration projects forward even farther, to plant even more milkweed. And that's actually a great thing that we can all do. You have to be careful of what kind of milkweed you use because milkweed tends to be kind of geographically specific. So if you're living in California, say, and you get Nevada milkweed seeds, well, those plants might not do very well. You kind of need California milkweed seeds. But you can reach out to the Xerces societies. There are actually a couple of other places. There's one uh, or two that I will link in the description as well, where if you send them an envelope, maybe send them an envelope and a small donation, they will send you a small number of seeds or a big number of seeds based on where your letter comes from, based on where your request comes from. So they'll send you the right kinds of seeds for where your area is. And you can plant some milkweeds, which is the preferred egg laying and caterpillar eating plant for monarch butterflies. So this is this is really a, an opportunity. It's a very exciting, really positive sign that a lot of effects uh, are going in the right direction as a result of the habitat restoration work that has been done for monarch butterflies. I very much hope it continues. I very much hope that you reach out to these organizations, get to yourself some milkweed um, seeds and plant them out somewhere where butterflies can utilize them. Um, yeah, and maybe we can, we can all join together and help this spectacular species of butterfly continue to do even better and better and better than it did in 2021. Another way of getting involved is, I mean, particularly if you live in coastal California, join up with the Xerces Society for their Thanksgiving counts. It's largely volunteer run, largely volunteer counters, and they're always looking for more help. Um, so if you're in the area and you feel like going out around Thanksgiving, there's sort of a three week window around Thanksgiving when this count takes place, get out there, count some butterflies, and we can continue monitoring the effects uh, that their population is going through. Is, up or down, good, bad, or ugly. But uh, knowing what's going on is sort of the first key important thing for any of this. So, volunteer for a Thanksgiving monarch butterfly count, plant milkweed seeds, two excellent things that we can all do, hopefully all do, at least some of us can all do, to help this beautiful species persist. Like I said, to find out more, Check out the links below, Xerxes Society. I'll try to find a couple other groups that do the, the seed give out. Um, and yeah, sort of stay informed on, on monarch butterflies and what's gonna happen next with these, with these beautiful butterflies. And you know, keep your eyes open too, no matter where you are, especially in the Western US. Watch for monarch butterflies. Watch for monarch butterflies in the winter but also watch for them in the summertime when they're when they're breeding. Watch what habitat they're using. Watch where you're seeing them. It might give you a better indication of where you can plant more milkweed 
to give them that much more of a boost. So get out there, watch some butterflies, and until next time, enjoy the natural world. Thank <laughs> you.